lovely to see you this morning. So it's our second Sunday in Advent and today we are thinking about love, the love of God that came down at Christmas time. And so before we get started, let's call for our friend Jasper. So after three everybody, are we ready? Are you ready Isaac? Off you get great. Isaac's ready now, fantastic. So we're going to count to three and then we're going to call for Jasper. One, two, three. Jasper! Jasper! Hello! Hello Jasper, how are you? I'm very good. Hi well, Isaac. Welcome to the Good News Home. Here, we've got some Christmas jokes. A Santa. Oh yes, Christmas jokes, yes, yes, yes. A Santa. I've got a new one this week. A new one for you this week? So, what do elves do after school? What do elves do after school, I think? Hmm, I don't know. They do their no work. Oh, <laughs> very good, very good, brilliant. Well, here, I have a joke, everyone. Ready? You want to get in there? Right. Oh, Angel's lace her hair. Right, there we go. No, knock, knock. Mary and Joseph? Go away, there's no room. <laughs> oh, they both know that one, that's funny. There is no room, no room at the end. <laughs> what is it, Isaac? <laughs> that's Jasper, isn't yes, it? Yes, Jasper. Hello, Isaac. He says hi. Hi, Santa. Does he look like Santa? Yes, I've got my Santa. He's got his Santa glasses, glasses on. Glasses on and hat. Well, Rosie, could you share with everyone <laughs> what we've been doing this week to share the hope? Of Christ that we were learning about last week. Well, we um, wrote Christmas cards with the names God on them um, and sent them to friends and family. Yes, yeah, so we used that first in Isaiah, didn't we? To remember yeah. about how God is a wonderful counsellor, a mighty God, and the Prince of Peace. Yeah. So we wrote those on Christmas cards and then we sent them out, didn't we, dear friends and family? Yeah. So we would encourage you to get busy and thank you for sending in your Christmas decorations, proclaiming God's name. They're beautiful. And yeah, keep up all the good work about sharing the hope of Christ. And so today we are thinking about the love of Christ. And so we're going to think about that for a few minutes together now. Um, so gang, will we pray? Yes. Isaac, do you want to turn around and wash your hands before we pray? Wash your hands. Are you going to wash your hands? Everybody wash hands. Wash hands. How do we do it? We're very good at washing our hands, aren't we? Something we need to do really well now. Mm -hmm. Isaac, are you going to wash your hands? We're going to pray. Wash, wash your hands. Star. Yes, Jasper's got the star, but he's going to wash his hands. Yeah. Okay, let's wash your hands and hang them while dry and yeah. let's talk to God. God, we thank you for this Sunday morning. We thank you that we can come and gather together to worship you as a family. And so as we think today about the love of Christ, I pray that we would know that truth in our hearts and in our minds. So God, be with us now and speak to us through your word in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So if you've got your Bibles with you, I'd like you to turn to the book of Luke. So Luke is one of the Gospels in the New Testament. And Luke tells us the story about Jesus' birth. And if we look at verse 7 in chapter 2, so pause the video, get found in Luke chapter 2, verse 7, and let's read it together. So it says, She gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. That's the story of Jesus, isn't it? That's his birth, where Mary gave birth to Jesus in a stable because there was no room for them at the end. And so where did all this story take place? Where was Jesus born? Let me hear you shout it out, Jasper and Rosie. Where was Jesus born? In Bethlehem, in a stable. Yes, in Bethlehem. So Bethlehem is a really small town. But God had planned that it would be a very important place in the story of how he was going to show his love for all people. And so there's actually about 400 years of silence between the book of Malachi and the New Testament. 400 
hundred years of nothing. Wow. I know, it's amazing, isn't Very it? Very long time. And Bethlehem was the place that God chose <gasps> to take the next step in a story where he was going to show his unfailing love for everyone. And so it's in Bethlehem, as we know, where Mary and Joseph and Jesus um, were. And so Mary and Joseph welcomed Jesus into the world. And they travelled to Bethlehem because the law told Joseph that he had to go to his hometown um, to be counted as part of the census that was taking place. But God had promised years before to show his love through this little town of Bethlehem. And so this little town of Bethlehem is really important in this story. And Joseph was actually from um, the family line of King David. And God had also promised, as we read last week, that Jesus, the Son of God, would be born to a virgin, Mary. And so it was really important that Mary and Joseph weren't married at this point in the story because Mary became pregnant through the Holy Spirit. And so the time where Jesus was born Bethlehem, his mother and his father, his earthly parents, are all really important parts of this story, the story of Jesus' birth. And each part of this story of Jesus' birth declares the love of God, declares his unfailing love towards all of us. And so there's a little verse. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. So 1 John's towards the end of the Bible, so you can look that up together as a family. 1 John 4, verse 9, and it says this. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his one and only son into the world so that we might live through him. God sent this gift of Jesus into the world, into this little town of Bethlehem, to demonstrate his deep and everlasting love for you, for me, for all of us. And so the trick today to remember is that God is love. So we are going to sing together about God's love and we are going to remember the birth of Jesus in our worship as well. And so we're going to sing together away in a manger. And I know some of you have been practicing that really well. So thank you for that. Um, and also we're going to sing our worship song called God is Love. So get up, get stretching, get ready to worship. And let's praise God together. Okay, everybody, we're going to sing away in a manger. Start with that. Lovely Christmas song.
for Lethal Gangs. And so isn't it amazing that we have received this brilliant and um, most wonderful gift of love through Jesus Christ. And so as we have received that gift, our challenge is to pass that love of God, to pass on that gift to others. And so I would really encourage you this week to be creative about how you can do that. And we're in lockdown, but there's lots of ways, and you've been so good at this, of being able to share and show the hope and love of Christ um, with those around us. And so how can we do that this week? How can we show God's love to others this week? Um, I think we might give some things to Storehouse, but I want you to be creative about what you as a family are going to do this week. I'd love to hear the stories. We'd love to see photographs of what you've been up to so that we can share that on our Facebook group. And as we share that with one another, not only does it encourage us to do the same, but it builds that faith within our community. And so I'd love to hear from you this week about how you have been showing the love of God to others. And so before we go, we're just going to pray together and ask God to help us do that this week, because the brilliant thing is we don't have to do that on our own. Um, but Jasper, are you about before we pray and say cheerio? Where's he got to? Where's he got to? Jasper, where are you? Jasper, Jasper, Jasper. Behind the guitar. Oh, is he behind the guitar, is he? He's behind the oh, guitar. You're, you're so right. right. He's behind him. the guitar. Yes, I was behind the guitar. Well done, Isaac. <laughs> Brilliant, that is nice. Isaac's a bit camera shy today. He's asked for an increase in his wage. Nutella toast isn't quite doing it today. Um, so maybe see more of him next week. But let's pray together and ask God um, to help us with this this week. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the love that you have shown us. We thank you for the gift of Christ at Christmas and that we have been given this beautiful love. Um, from you and so father i pray that as we go into this week and as we look to share the love of christ with those that we meet that you would help us be creative in that i pray that you would help us to be bold and courageous with that and that we would carry your love well wherever we go so father i thank you for this time of worship this morning and pray blessing over us and all the families that have gathered together to do this in jesus name amen thank you that's, who's that for? Is that for Santa? No. no? Is it for Isaac? No. Oh, okay. So we're going to say cheerio, Isaac. Are you ready to say goodbye to everybody? Bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>